I'm going to continue playing my Angmar Awakened campaign expansion, playing Escape from Mount Graham, Part 5. Playing with the same heroes, with Galadriel, Calibor, and Elrond. Same with in deck two, of Arwen, Baragond, and Haldir. And this class requires a lot of setup. When a, each player shuffles his starting hand into his deck, so I didn't even draw it because you need to shuffle it back in. Each player prepares a separate capture deck. The capture deck is all allies, items, artifacts, and mount attachments. And then each player picks one hero to be their starting hero, and the other two go into the captured deck. I'm going to pick Elrond to be my starting hero, and he has two resources for cunning. One hero gets shuffled in, and the other one goes on top. This is going to be odd, and this is going to be even. The first one gets shuffled in. This one's going to get shuffled in. This one goes on top. I'm going to choose Haldir. As my starting hero, odd even. This one's going to get shuffled in. Then each player adds two resources to his starting hero and sets his threat as that hero's threat cost. So we have 13. And 
9. Set South Run Gate and the Jailer side out of play along with the Agmar Orcs and Counter Set. Shuffling Counter Deck. We also have a setup of set aside any permanent boon attachments on heroes that are added to player's capture deck. Add the loot, the dungeon's side quest to the staging area, capturing the bottom five cards of each player's capture deck underneath it, and flip this card over. And the loot of the dungeon is considered to be in each player's staging area and gets plus four quest points for each player in the game at every staging area. While loot the dungeon, when loot the dungeon is defeated, each player at every staging area may choose one of the following boons and add it to their hand. And the fourth, instead of raising your threat by one during the refresh phase, each player raises their threat by the number of completed quest cards plus the number of side quests in the victory display. Anyway, so we draw our starting hand of three cards. Alorian. Test the will and the tree people. I'm going to shuffle, take a mulligan. Host of the Galadrium, Elrond's Consul, and a Feigned Voices. Unexpected Courage, Ranger Spikes, and the Test of Will. I'll keep this hand. And now 1B, Unexpected Rescue. When revealed, each player creates his own staging area and advances to a different 2A. So this is now set at 1. Two A. Ornaka's dungeon. Capture seven, and when revealed, search the encounter deck for one copy of Prison Cell. Reveal it and add it to the staging area. Then capture two additional cards from the top of the captured deck, underneath that copy of Prison Cell. So 
we got the prison cell. So it's capture one plus we capture two more. Now to be zero quest points. Anytime players would place progress on this quest, rescue an equal number of captured cards at random from underneath it instead. Progress is placed on the actual location before triggering this effect. If there are no captured cards underneath for Narcus Dungeons, join another player at the beginning of the travel phase. You can't join another player. All players advance to stage 3A together. And both cards read the same thing. And here's going to be the divider between the two. And I'm going to keep this here to let me know how much I need to raise my threat each round. And here's the capture decks. For the Sylvan, draw, we each get a resource. Well, I'm not going to play anything here. Go over to the Haldir, self preservation. We're going to play a Ranger Spikes. Put that in the staging area. And we're going to quest here for three. And there's one in the staging area. Capture captives of Gornok. When revealed, each player must choose one of his allies and capture it underneath the encounter card with the highest threat. We don't have any allies in play. So that's a whiff. So we quest and successfully vice for two. So we get two random cards. We got one of our heroes, Gladriel. Now go over to the Haldir deck. We're going to be questing for two. Dungeon Guard, capture one, and after the captured cards underneath Dungeon Guard is rescued, the players may put one of them into play at no cost, and he gets trapped. So he quested for two, and there's one in the staging area, so he quests successfully by one. So we get one card. our hero. So now the travel phase, we're going to travel to the prison cell and after players travel to the prison cell, look at the captured cards underneath it and choose one to put into play at no cost. Place the other cards back underneath prison cell. We're going to put a nace guide into play. We're going to travel to the prison cell. We're 
we're going to put an East Road Ranger into play. Now we're going to go Gladriel, we're going to exhaust her and draw a card and reduce her threat by one. Now, we're going to go to the next round, and we have to raise our threat by one. Hands upon the bow. Over to the Sylvan deck. Gotta put a Sylvan Tracker into play. Now we're gonna quest for two, three, four, five. Six. Now we're going to be going towards the main quest. Capture one. Cruel torture. That's two threat. And we quested for six, so we put four progress here. Three goes here, exploring this, getting the Gondorian shield and the dagger, and then we get one random card here. Gandalf. Now we're here we're going to quest for three, four, five, five. And there is zero in the staging area. Prison cell. Capture one. So we quest successfully by four. That's three here. And we get one here. Now we're going to travel to the prison cell. And this gets to put into play for free. We're going to put it on to Elrond. Now we're going to go to the next round. Raise our scrap by one. Determined. I'm going to put a Lorian guide into play and say that Elrond doesn't exhaust the quest. Uh, I'm going to put in a Gladrian Minstrel. 
I get to search the top five cards of my deck for an event. And put it in my hand. Gonna get Elrond's console. I'll play a Gladriel and discard and draw a card and reduce my threat by one. Go over to the Haldir deck, Elrond's console. I'm gonna play Gandalf. Deal four damage to this cruel torturer. Uh, Northern Tracker comes back to my comes to my hand. Now we're gonna quest and we're gonna go towards loot the dungeon. And these two at top don't exhaust the quests that came in this round. So one, two, three, four, and he doesn't exhaust the quest. So five, six, seven, seven to zero. Feeble and weary. Each player must either deal one damage to each exhausted character he controls or remove each exhausted character he controls from the quest. We're going to remove each exhausted character from the quest. So that takes away two. So we're five. So that clears the prison cell and puts two progress onto the loot the dungeons. Now here we're going to go to loot the dungeons as well. We're questing for Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Because we're going towards a side quest. And there's zero in the staging area. Interrogation. Each player discards the top card of his capture deck and raises his threat by that card's printed cost. Five. So he quested for 12, and there's no threat, so he put 12 here, and that clears. the loot dungeon. Now we get our hero back here. This goes up to two. And now we get to search Or one of these boons and put into our hand. Silverton. Attached to a hero restricted while attacking or defending against an enemy. Attached hero gets plus one attack and plus one 
defense until if that enemy shares a trait with an enemy in the victory display. Attach your attacks and destroys an enemy. Add that enemy to the victory display. Limit once per game. Mail of Ernor. Restricted. Attach your gets plus two hit points. After a player's threat is reduced, heal one damage from attached hero. Coronary Dunedain Ranger. After he defends an attack, spend one resource to heal to deal two damage to the attacking enemy. Okay, he's got one defense and two hit points. So if he blocks an enemy that caught attacks for three, he's dead. And Verlin, after Verlin attacks and destroys an enemy, place one progress on a quest card in play. That's good. Luramin, Dunedain Ranger, a 2 2 zero, 4 response. After he commits to a quest, deal heal one damage from a character. And Chieftain's Brooch. Attached to a hero, restricted. Each ally that shares a trait with attached hero gets plus one willpower. I'm going to have the Sylvan deck take the Chieftain's Brooch because most of the allies in the Sylvan deck are Sylvans. And this deck lacks willpower. I'm going to take this one. After it commits to a quest, heal one damage from a character. Now we go to the next round. Gandalf leaves play. We raise each for a threat now by two. Actually, this guy, oh, this guy doesn't engage. Draw a card, test the will. We're going to discard a soul preservation squad uh, Armin's ability to give herself a resource. Now we're going to put in our boom cost two. Go over to the Sylvan deck. Test the well. We're going to play the Chieftain's Brooch and put it on to Hellebore. Now all Sylvan and Noble characters get plus one willpower. And say it leaves that up for a test of will. Put down a Lorian. Let's 
Sauce, Gladriel, to draw a card and reduce the strength by one. We're going to put it on Gladriel's Handmaiden, reduce our strength by one. Exhaust Alorian, they make it only cost one. gets all the benefits because of Kelebor, plus all my characters, are, these all have plus one willpower. So we're going to quest for two. Three, four, five, six. Feeble and wary. Each player must either deal one damage to each exhausted character or remove each exhausted character from the quest. We're going to deal one damage to each exhausted character. So we quest successfully by six. So we get all our cards back here. Now we're going to quest here for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. To zero. Golden tor Goblin Tormentor. So we added two. So we quest successfully by ten. That gets these cards back. And now at the travel phase, both of these are explored. So that, I'm going to turn this up into a four. Now we go to 3A. Flight from Mount Graham. When revealed, add South Run Gate and Jailer to the staging area. Shuffle the Agmar Oryx encounter set into the encounter deck, then reveal one encounter card per player from the top of the encounter deck. So we got the Jailer. After one or more capture cards are rescued, the Jailer gauges that player and with the highest threat and makes an immediate attack. And the South Ron Gate. Immune to player card effects. While South Run Gate is the active location, each orc enemy gets plus two attack. When South Run Gate becomes the active location, each player with less than 35 threat must raise the threat to 35.
We're now all in one staging. Goblin Tormentor. Capture one. Dungeon Guard, capture one. Now we're not going to travel anywhere. Now we go to the engagement phase. 12 and 18. So only one has to engage us. And he's going to attack. And he engages the player with the highest threat. Now we don't have anybody to defend. So we're going to optionally engage this one over here. And he's attacking for two. I'm going to block with Elrond. No shadow, no damage. And then we can attack back for two. That's one. Attack back for two and deal one damage to him. At the end of the round, we have to raise our start up by four. Three people. Soft Galadriel to have the Haldir deck draw a card and reduce the threat by one. Now we're going to put in a Galadriel's Handmaiden. For one, and reduce the spread of Haldir deck by one. We're going to put a Limbus onto Haldir. Now we're going to go over to the 
Pile to your deck, draw a card, Protector of Lorien. We're going to put a Protector of Lorien onto Haldir. We're going to play Duran's Ruins and draw two cards. I can discard a card. I get rid of a honor guard. Oh, first we have to flip this over. It's got 16 quest points, and the players cannot travel the South Grand Gate unless there are at least 16 progress on the stage. This. Stage cannot be defeated while well, South Run Gate is in play, and as the players defeat this stage, they would escape Mount Graham and win the game. Now we're going to quest. There is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine ten in the staging area. We're going to quest for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, and we're going to heal uh, damage off of Arwen from his ability. Agmar Captain. Fend off despair. When his friend off despair is defeated, mark it in the campaign log. And each player starting threat is reduced by two, and this reduction is cumulative. So we added three. So we quest successfully by eight. So that puts eight progress here. Now, we're going to go into the engagement phase. No one has to engage. We're going to opt. We don't even have to have an attack. So now we're going to use Haldir's ability. And 
snipe this guy. And we got our hero back. Whoa. Now this guy immediately engages here and makes an immediate attack. We're going to block with Baragon. Gets plus one attack for each defending, for each ally. So he gets attacking for seven, so he takes three damage. That was close. This guy is going to attack. We're going to block with Elrond. No shadow, no damage. Okay, now we're going to go to the next round. We have to raise our threat by four. Put a Baragon, a Gondorian shield onto Baragon and it goes onto him for free. And now it's plus two defense. We're going to put, oh, you only have one resource there. So we're going to put a Unexpected Courage on the Baragon. Over to the Sylvan deck. Before we do that, we're going to reduce our threat by one and draw a card. Hasty Stroke. 
sneak attack. We're going to put in a greenwood archer. For one. Exhausting Valorian. Now we're going to go towards Fend Off Despair. Going to quest for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, Seventeen, eighteen, and it heals up two damage. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 2, 5, 8 in the staging area. Tunnels of Mount Graham. Capture 1. X is the number of cards underneath it. So that's going to be 2. And uh, Angmar Orc. This either discard one ally from play or reveal an additional encounter card. So that will bring up four more. One, two, three, four. So at the moment we've quested successfully by twelve. Yeah, we'll just get rid of. Get rid of him. The Hirsch, that would bring us down to nine. Now we're just going to get rid of the East Road Ranger. Actually, hang on. Just want to read. Okay, we're going to get rid of the East Road Ranger so that we lose three willpower. So we quest successfully by nine. That clears off, fend off to spare. So now our starting threat is going to be two less because of that. It'll be the second time we've done it. Now we're going to travel to the Tunnel of Mount Graham. We don't have to engage anyone. I was attacking for four. We 
deal out shadow cards. I'm going to play Sane Voices and bring back the Elven Jeweler, I mean the Gladrian Handmaiden and say that this guy can't attack this phase. Then I'm going to use Haldir's ability to snipe this Goblin Tormentor. This goes back to our hand here. And now we're going to block with Elrond. Resist attack with damage and ally. It doesn't damage any ally. We're going to attack with and destroy this guy. And after the captured cards underneath dungeon guard are rescued, the players may put one of them into play at no cost. And we're going to put this into play at no cost and deal one damage to an enemy not engaged. We're going to deal one damage to this dungeon guard. Okay, let's do it to this um, jailer. Now we're going to play Termination. We're going to ready up Haldir. So he's attacking for four, five, and then this is going to attack for three more. eight and this is attacking for three eleven that destroys this jailer now we go to the next round we have to raise our threat by four Sneak attack.
and we're going to play a, we're going to use Gladriel's ability. Have this deck reduce the spread by one, draw a card. Now we're going to play a host of the Gladrium. And we get a return all Sylvan allies to our hand and play them back. I'm going to play a Gladrium Archer and deal one damage to this Agmar Captain. Ready up Gladriel. Sylvan Tracker. We're going to say that Halzier doesn't exhaust a quest. We're going to say that Elrond doesn't exhaust a quest. We're going to reduce the threat of the Halzier deck by one. And Minstrel, you get to search the top five cards for a deck for an event. All these allies get plus one for each to each their attributes for Calivor's ability, and then plus one willpower because of the Chieftain's brooch. And don't exhaust a quest. Now we're going to go over to the Haldir deck. We're going to put a bow of the Gladrium onto Haldir, and he gets plus two attack. Ranger Spikes, and discard a pit to give Gladriel a resource. That's all we're going to do. And we're going to go toward, we got going towards the main quest. So there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight in a staging area. And we're questing for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and we're going to heal up Paragon because of his ability. Enter. Interrogation. Each player discards the top card of his capture deck and raises threat by the capture printed cost. Okay. One. And one. Control room. Capture two. I added three. So we quest successfully my 19. That puts four here and 15 here. We're 
we're going to discard one card pit to make it 16. So this is cleared and we get these back. Now we're going to travel to the summer gate. We had to raise our threat by an additional one because we had added one more from the fend off despair. And now we have to raise our threat up to 35 because we're lower. Right now, gonna. Play Elrond's Castle and reduce the threat by three. Then we're going to play these two and reduce the threat by six. Now to 29. Only one has to engage us. We're going to optionally engage the dungeon guard and Then the Orc of Agmar comes down on its own. And we deal out shadow cards. We're going to use Haldir's ability to snipe this dungeon guard. And when it's rescued, we can put a card underneath it, no cost, defender. And here we're going to block with Baragon. Capture each attachment attached to defending character underneath attacking enemy. We're going to play a hasty stroke and cancel that ability. Now we're going to attack with all these Sylvans and destroy him. Then we go to the next round. We raise our threat by five. Hasty stroke. Put Gandalf into play.
and reduce our stress by five. Draw a card. And exhaust Gladrill. Draw a card and reduce our stress by one. Now I'm going to play a host of the Gladrium again. Return all these back to my hand. And play, deal one damage. Reduce the threat by one. Haldir doesn't exhaust. Elrond doesn't exhaust. Ready up, Gladrill. And we get a source of top five cards for an event. Test the well. Now all these get the benefits plus the chieftain's brooch. Now we're gonna go. Three, six in the staging area. We're going to quest for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty nine, thirty through one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four. Agmar Marauder. He falls into a trap. Goblin Tormentor. Capture one. Well, got so that added two. So we quested successfully by twenty-five. So that clears out this, and we win the game. So there we go. Let's host the Galadrium and pretty much just take over the game. So I'm going to say the host of the Galadrium was the MVP. And over here, I'm going to say the Ranger Spikes was the MVP to keep the threat lower in the staging area. And we got defeated to fend off despair. Cars that didn't get captured. Dagger. Here. And the fourth the resolution here is each player must make note of which unique cards are still in the captured deck and not in play. At the end of the game, those cards can't be included in the player's deck for the rest of the campaign. And there's no unique cards here, but we're free to use all the cards for the rest of the campaign. This guy is healed up. These are the two boons that we earned. And 
Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in Across the Etnoirs.